Hi Scorpio, this is going to be a twin flame reading video for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. You don't have to be a Scorpio or have Scorpio influences in your chart. You may find that you just resonate with this video anyway, or your person might be a Scorpio or have Scorpio placements in their chart. Please take it as it resonates. I'm going to take a moment to clear our space with the singing bowl. So if you're wearing headphones, please be mindful of the sound. everybody's doing really well. Um, as I pull this top row, I'm just going to say that it usually resonates more with the feminine energy for whoever resonates with that energy more in your connection, but it doesn't always have to be, okay? Let's see what Spirit has to say today. It says everything's okay. Don't worry. It's all working out in a beautiful way. Divine Feminine, this has come out more than once over the past week as I've done these twin flame videos for the different zodiac signs. Many people who resonate with Divine Feminine Energy seem to be in a heavier, denser, uh, more rigid type of energy or feeling as of the past week or two. Um, as I've been explaining to the other signs, many of us are in this Nine of Swords kind of headspace, um, anxiety ridden, feeling a little burdened, particularly with regard to our connection, whether that be in the 3D or even on an energetic uh, in an energetic way all right but this is a message from the universe letting you know that um, letting you know that everything's going to be okay and everything's working um, according to plan so don't try to over control the situation I do need to apologize we do have more background noises and sounds going on today more than I can control normally so I do apologize for that this one says patience please so that's kind of an extension of the same message that just came out what you're asking for is coming about have patience as there are unseen factors that need to occur first this goes along with not trying to overly control or micromanage the situation or how things unfold now is really a time to release into that surrender and just allowing things to unfold in divine timing okay scorpio again that's been a message coming out for many of the different zodiac videos i've been doing for the twin flame connections this week so it's not just uh something that's specific to your sign per se but i would say you know definitely ease up on trying to take the reins in this situation and just and allow things to unfold naturally. Again, I'm really sorry about the level of noise going on today. It says your desire is within reach. Have faith as everything is working out in your favor, okay? I'm just drawn to the fact that she's playing a musical instrument on this card, so as you relax into this surrender type energy, you may want to tap into activities that allow you to free your mind up so that you're not constantly going over things, constantly thinking about how you can control something or modify the way something comes out, especially when your connection with your person. So music might be really significant to someone in your ability to kind of detach and relax and um, move into this more of a surrendered state. Um, patience please is really important because things are unfolding in divine timing so trying to exert control over the situation is really just going to end up stressing you out it's not going to influence how or when things come together all right and again that's been an overarching message for all of the divine feminines the past week let's tap into the divine masculine energy let's see what comes out okay. stillness and there is a scorpion on this card. So heavy Scorpio energy, very appropriate for your video today. Stillness. Um, I think Divine Masculine may be also going through this Nine of Swords mental anguish feeling that I've been picking up on from the Divine Feminines this week. In fact, you might be receiving that energy from your Masculines, Divine Feminines, okay? So it's important for each of you on both sides of this connection to take a step back and like I said focus on activities that allow you to quiet your emotions just a little bit um, usually I would tell the divine masculines to lean into their emotional selves a little bit more but I think particularly for your sign what I'm picking up on in your twin flame connections 
is an upheaval and a chaotic emotional state on both sides. So I think actually both partners need to focus on quieting their emotions just a little bit to put you both in a better position to move forward in a more peaceful way and a way that allows you both to surrender to the process. Okay, let's see what else Spirit wants to share today. Okay, we have Cat's Claw Purification. Somebody might really like yellow flowers um, or resonate with panthers or jaguars. You might also be dealing with a Leo in your connection. Um, but basically, the Divine Masculine has been working on clearing any remaining toxicity that he's energetically bringing to the connection. Um, he's working on purifying that through his own ascension process and his own um, spiritual awakening that many of them have been going through um, at this time. So that's one really positive aspect on the Divine Masculine side. And then we have Foresight. So again, more big cat imagery. Some of you definitely are dealing with a Leo. Um, I'm going to read from the guidebook on this one just because there's a lot going on on this card and I feel like the energy is really important to today's reading. So let's tap into that. So upright, this card indicates magic, wisdom keeper, purity. So that's another card of purity here. Higher consciousness, clarity, intuitive intellect, and enchantment. And the guidance says, the mighty jaguar is the spirit animal to many great medicine peoples in the rain, rainforest. The jaguar has been regarded as one of the fierce protectors of the sacred and seen as a bridge to the upper worlds or messenger from the realms of spirit. Coca's lightning-like energy has appeared today signaling the piercing clarity, foresight and power you have available to you right now. Jaguar spirit rewards you as you stay true to your integrity in moments where you could easily give it away. Don't reject innate gifts you were born with. Cultivate them and don't shy away from their magnificent power. The power of Jaguar is that of the greatest shaman, able to assist in soul work and journeying to receive aspects of your power that have been forgotten or remained latent. So what I get from this is for both sides, but particularly for the Divine Masculines, they are learning to stand in their power and make better decisions for their own growth and for their own spiritual journey. And inadvertently, we know as they do that, that it actually enhances the probability of union for your connection, okay? Because they're, they're making healthier choices, they're doing things that help align them with their highest timeline and really tap into that magician type power uh, within themselves to manifest the most positive outcomes in their own lives okay this definitely can apply to the divine feminine side as well but i feel like this is something that is not new to the divine feminine side whereas it may be a relatively recent development for some of your masculines okay their ability to tap into this power to make healthier decisions um, for their own lives, okay, that put them in better alignment with their highest timeline and also in better alignment with you, Divine Feminine, okay? There were also elements of purification here, so I think some of them are coming out of that dark night of the soul period where they are ridding themselves of a lot of negative patterns in their lives, a lot of shadow work being done, a lot of healing of inner wounds and things like that from childhood, um, but they're making really great progress with this from the energies that have come out today. So union, communication, all those things may be coming closer and closer for you and your person because they're actually doing all the work that is required for union to take place. Okay. We're going to get some direct messages from your divine masculine's higher self. I'm better with my mind than my heart. This one has come out for so many readings this week. Um, many masculines are still thinking through their logical mind, trying to manage your connection and understand it in, the, in that way, instead of through their emotions, through their intuition, through their soul guiding them. Okay, so that's something they're still working on. I don't know where to start because some of this process may feel very foreign to them. It may feel very new in some ways. 
So the process of connecting with you, even though they've done all this great shadow work on themselves, which is really good news for your masculines and also for you energetically because you feed off of one another. Um, as far as connecting with you, some of them feel a little bit like a fish out of water and they're gonna need to kind of find their footing before they take those steps to communicate with you, but the desire is definitely there. Some of them feel like they can't make you happy, so there is, they are still struggling with that low self, low sense of self-worth in some cases, so that still may be something that they're, they're working through. Okay, I can't talk to you right now, and it's because of these feelings of low self-worth that some of them have going on right now, but that's, that's going to change relatively soon. You are too nice, and I don't deserve your kindness. And what do you see in me? Okay, so yeah, a lot of them are still thinking through their logical mind. They're still coming out of this period of healing. Um, just from the energy we picked up today, many of your masculines have made a lot of progress in this area, but some of them are still dealing with some residual inner wounds that still need to be addressed and their ability to come towards you. So some of them are still not fully sure how, they're, how they wanna go about that process yet. And they still need to surrender fully to their intuition and to what their soul is telling them to do as opposed to thinking about the, the process logically, all right? Because that's, that's inadvertently hindering them through this process, all right? So that's probably the biggest obstacle right now, but there were a lot of really beautiful energies that came out for you, Divine Feminine, and your masculines in this reading. So I hope that it did help and that it did resonate with you in some way today. If you can like, comment, and subscribe, it would really help our channel grow. I would love to hear about you, your twin flame journey in the comment section. Um, other than that, though, I'm sending you peace and harmony, and I hope to see you in the next video, Scorpio. Bye-bye.